guys it's your girl jay antoinette welcome back to another video i know i have been mia for a minute but i'm just coming to say guys happy 2021 to you all i hope so far the year has been treating you well and yes i am back once again i know that i haven't been consistent but my goals for this year is to be consistent on youtube so as of now i'll be posting twice a week i'll be recording on tuesdays and thursdays so hopefully i can edit and post by wednesdays and fridays um that is my plan for now so you can stay tuned for videos on those days um so yes guys if you're new here and this is the first time you're seeing this video i do life co lifestyle content sorry and i do pcos videos makeup and a whole host of other types of videos so if that is something that you were interested in go ahead check out my content and also hit that subscribe button leave some likes and some comments guys and as usual thank you so much for your support and your time it has not gone unnoticed so guys let's get into this video so as by the title you can tell i am going to be doing my vision board today so guys i went by fontana and I got this board. Now I know, oh my goodness, I think I just cracked a piece of it. I know they normally have like some thicker ones, but they said that was all out. So I had to opt for this one here. It is still nice, it's pretty thick, but it's um it's kind of fragile. <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about it. But anyways, as you notice, I put the 2021 in the middle already um i don't know i have these things for rose gold now but as we go along and put on the pictures i will explain the meaning of them to me and what my vision is for this year now if this is the first time that you're ever doing a vision board guys you don't have to get anything too expensive you can get um something like this from your local craft store if you don't live in jamaica um you can even use cartridge paper because the one that i did last year was actually on cartridge paper um and i just like put stuff on it for myself but this year i definitely wanted something more tangible so i decided to get this thicker kind of material and it works well also i was supposed to get glue but when i went to the cash register the girl forgot that i had the glue there so i have some tape this is some scotch tape so it should work just fine as well so that is what i will be using all right so first and foremost where did i put it oh my gosh Woo. i had some pictures there we go so first and foremost i definitely have my picture for youtube because as i said to you guys i want to do much more videos this year i want to post twice every week and i also really 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 want to get monetized so that is my goal for this year definitely putting in the time on youtube i really enjoy creating content and posting so um it's something that i really enjoy so i really hold this dear to my heart so this is one of my greatest visions for this year and i'm just gonna put it in the corner at the top here don't worry guys you might not see me pacing them now but when it's all done you'll get to see it also i have this little quote here that says every single day is another opportunity to get closer to your goal i definitely want to live by this mantra so i want to put this on the side here so that i can remind myself every day that every day that you wake up that's how much closer you are to the goals that you want i definitely want to be a business owner i might not be able to put all of that into effect for this year but i do want to get started because you know sometimes you keep on telling yourself oh i'm going to i'm going to and you just never end up doing it but i most definitely want to put that into play for this year so i'm going to use this code as a mantra to myself to remind myself daily that every day you get up every day whatever you do it puts you closer to the goals that you have for your life so yeah i like this little coat so i'm just gonna put that on the side here all right place it right here i noticed that i have a theme going like most of my stuff is either rose gold or pinkish like <laughs> that wasn't intentional but whatever 
All right, so this is another little quote that I like too. You are the author of your life. If you don't like how it goes, write it differently. So that is one of my main goals too for this year. I definitely know I want certain things in my life to change. I want certain things um, to increase. I want to do things differently. So that's another mantra that I want to live by. So I'm going to put that on the other side. Oh, if I had gotten the glue, it would have been much better, but just using the resources that I have, that's the best that I can do right now. All right, so this is going to go right here on this side. And as I said, guys, don't worry. You're gonna get to see the finished product. That's what's most important. I'll bring it over a little bit more. So yeah, I put it on this side. All right, so next, I have this picture here. As I think I've said in some dumb videos before, let me bring it close so you guys can see. I am a certified wedding planner and it is something that I really, really enjoyed while I was studying it. And I really want to actually open a business where I do wedding planning, catering, um you know all the works i also do makeup so i could probably do the the bride's makeup or the bridegroom's makeup um bridesmaid sorry so yeah that picture there is just to remind me that that is the type of business that i want to get into because that is what i love so i'm going to put it right here because even though i am a medical technologist by profession there is nothing wrong with loving something else and loving what you're doing and no i don't consider it to be something of a hobby i really think that this could be a well done profession and um i was thinking you know with all the lockdowns that we've had a lot of persons might not been able to have their weddings and they're not really sure of you know how to plan or where to start and all of that so trust me if you need any help Guys, hit me up in my DMs on Instagram. I'll leave it in the description. I have all the works for you. Trust me, I can help you out. All right? So, that, I'm going to put it down the bottom. Right here. Yeah. I'm going to put it right here. Now that I look at this, it's starting to get crowded. <laughs> but whatever all right so the next one that i'm gonna put up is this picture here now i have really gotten into like home decor and stuff like that i really enjoy decorating that's probably for my mom because my mom likes home decor as well she always puts up like some new curtains and stuff like that in her house and i've realized that i'm like that and even since i've moved like i have done so many different things with my place and stuff like that so yeah um this little picture here is just to remind me that i really want to get into home decor and do much more with my house like i don't want to go overboard but i do want to like put different seasons have different looks for my room and different looks for my living room so that's a vision that i have I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna overlap some of these pictures. I should have probably cut out some of them a little bit smaller, but it's okay. We will make it work. <sighs> um, I'm gonna put this and slant it right here might hang off of the board a little bit but i can always like cut it or something or even tape it down you know let me tape it down here tape it right like that there you go that looks good all right so my next one is this picture here now guys as you know i do have pcos and I really, really, really want to become a better advocate for PCOS and for women with PCOS. 
So I want to put this picture here to remind me that yes, I am a PCOS warrior, but there are other women out there that are going through PCOS that have no idea what to do, no idea of how to start taking different supplements, exercise, and changing their diet. So I definitely want to become a better advocate for PCOS. Um, I do want to do more PCOS videos as well. So I think probably my next video, I'm going to do a PCOS update and show you guys some new supplements that I'm taking um, and tell you how it's been treating me so far. Um, yeah, so I'll just give you guys a PCOS update in my next video. Um, should I put this down here? I'm going to put it right here. Right at the corner there. Yeah. I like that right there. So my next picture, of course, is going to be makeup. I want to do some better makeup looks this year. Get more into it. Um, do more blending, contouring, different eyeshadow looks. Um, I, def I definitely want to get into other types of makeup as well. Um, I was thinking about doing a course. So that I could do um, some other types of looks and stuff, but uh, with the way things are right now in work, I might not have the time to do that. So, so once again, I will be experimenting through you, my subscribers, and you will see the looks I come up with. All right, so I'm gonna put this in the corner up here. I think it, you know, I think I put it up a little bit too high, bring it down a little bit more. All right, that's perfect. All right, so my next picture is self-love, self-care, sorry. I definitely want to do more self-care this year. Um, you know, take care of my skin, um, you know, groom my nails, groom my toes, possibly get massages i am really not into massages like a lot of people i don't know i just don't like it but um just take care of myself all together my mental health as well my well-being all of that um i just really want to do better with self-care this year i think that's very important mm -hmm. nobody's gonna take care of you like you so Gonna, where am I gonna put this? Wonder now if I should put it in the corner down here and overlap with the overlap with the home decor. Maybe that would be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. Yeah, this this is looking nice so far. I like how it looks. Alrighty. Oh, this is another PCOS picture to remind me that I am still healing and that it will take my body time to heal. So I want to put this right at the top here. For anybody who's watching this who has PCOS and you've been told that you can't heal your PCOS and you're going to have it forever, you can heal your PCOS. Um, you will still have your symptoms and stuff, but there are ways of you reducing your PCOS symptoms, things that you can take. And the most important thing is to know what type of PCOS you have. Not everybody has the same type of PCOS. For me, I have insulin resistant um, PCOS. So, yeah. If you don't know the type of PCOS you have, um, ask your doctor or even do the research for yourself because not all the time your doctor tells you everything. Trust me. Alrighty, so that one is right there at the top. And oh, this was another self care picture. Skincare. I'm really taking skincare serious this year. Um, I actually had a really bad um, breakout late last year on my chin and hair. Some persons were saying it could have been from the mask because you know a lot of persons were having mask needs because of constant mask wearing. 
some persons are saying it could be hormonal i think it's a mix of both but to be honest with you i'm just glad for where it is now because it was really bad and it was like cystic and swollen and i was really subconscious about it and how it looked on my face because it was just uncomfortable and then the first thing when people saw me that's the first thing that would, they would look at and i hated it so i'm glad that i was able to get some products and heal that it's in a much better state than it was before so i'm really glad for that i still have some scarring but right now i'm just using um turmeric soap to help with that i'm not using anything too harsh i'm gonna put this at the top here I'm not using anything too harsh so yeah that is that um okay so this is another picture here this is an engagement ring yes i know i'm weird i like different kind of stuff a lot of people don't like rings like this but i like something like this i know it doesn't have to be big diamonds like this but this is an engagement ring um i do want to be engaged i want to have a family soon that is one of my visions for my life i am going to be 29 this year yes i know i look very young <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna be 29 this year and um, that is a vision that I have for my life. I don't think I need to elaborate on that anymore. That's kind of self-explanatory. So I'm gonna put that right there. Um, yeah, and along with that vision comes, of course, you wanna have kids. So I'm gonna put that there. That's a vision that I have for my life. I do wanna be a mother. I think I'm gonna pull down this wedding planner picture a little bit. Like I said, I could have probably cut out some of these pictures a little bit smaller, but now I'm just seeing that. I wasn't seeing it when I was cutting because I was like, oh, this board looks so huge. So yeah, I'm gonna post some of these pictures down. Guys, I really implore you, if you're gonna be doing a vision board, please get the because tape is not it. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is taking a lot of time because of the tape itself. And I'm not even sure if it's gonna hold. That is my problem. Alright, so I'll put that right here. Okay. It looks so pretty. Alright. I also have these two pictures here. But let me show you this one first. No, I am a Christian and I definitely want to build on my spirituality. That's very important to me um so i'm gonna put this picture right here across to remind me that i want to increase my spirituality for this year have a closer connection to god um do more witnessing to persons and get to go to church I know a lot of persons haven't been able to go to church because of corona and stuff, but I really want to get to go to church. I haven't been to church in a while. I'm going to cut this down a little bit so that it can fit, but this is a picture of some healthy food. No, I don't want to become a vegan. That's just not, I don't think that's um, a lifestyle that I want to adapt just yet, but I do want to eat more healthier foods um eat more vegetables and more fruits i i don't know i have a very picky palate so i do want to do that um but yeah it doesn't necessarily that i want to be mean that i want to be vegan or vegetarian actually i was growing up um my mom to this day she doesn't eat meat she doesn't eat sorry chicken and she doesn't eat rice either. She's kind of a vegetarian. 
But I don't necessarily want to be vegetarian. My sister is vegetarian. Her kids are vegan. They're straight vegan. They don't eat any meat. Don't even like meat. But I do want to have a healthier lifestyle. And with me having PCOS, it's important that I eat more healthier foods. So I don't have flare-ups. I did have a flare-up recently where I was in a lot of pain. A lot of pain in my cysts and stuff. But Rome was not built in a day. My mom always says that. Alright, so I put that one right there. Alright, so I have these last three pictures. This one is of a wedding. Yes, I love bohemian weddings. I don't know. I just like the style. I think it's rustic. So yeah, this is the style of a bohemian wedding. I do want to be married soon. So, I'm wondering if I should put, yeah, I could overlap that like this. And then have this underneath like that. Because we don't necessarily need to see all of the man. So I'm going to put that one right there. You don't need a lot of tape. So yeah guys, like when you're making a vision board, it's anything that's really important to you that you want to accomplish in life, that's what you put on it. Um, like I said, these things are the visions that I have for my life and I hold them dear to my heart and I really want to accomplish them so that's why I have put these as my visions. No, there's one more that I'm missing that I forgot about. Two more, actually. Alright, so I'm gonna just place that like that. Nice. Um, The greatest gift is family. Family is very important to me. Anybody who knows me knows I'm very family oriented. Now, I don't think this is gonna hold, so I'm just gonna cut out the word family. And just put that alone on it so I want to spend more time with my family have my family of my own of course just all of the aspects of what family is so yeah And I put this down the bottom here like that. Oh, don't fly away. Today is a little hot here, that's why I have on the fan. I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> So yeah, family is very important to me, so I'm gonna put them, put that right there. I have these two last things. So I have this um, quote here that says, tools for success, Wi-Fi, caffeine, hustle, and a dream. Anybody who knows me, I am definitely a dreamer. I'm gonna cut this down as well too, because I know it's not gonna fit. Try and cut it real small because I'm putting the most important picture last. Trust me when I say it. Um, should I put this? Where should I put this? All right, I haven't really put much stuff over here. Oh, I could put it like that. I'm gonna have it hanging off, or I could. All right, let me pull up my. Let me put my YouTube picture here. In the middle and then put this at the top there so i'm gonna put this this one at the top i'm absolutely loving how this is looking so far it's coming together real nicely
and last but not least this is a blank check and what I'm gonna put on this is the amount that I have promised myself that I want to make this year so I am going to write it up first and put the last day of the year for 2021 which should be the 31st of December 2021 make it payable to the order of J and so next and I am gonna put one million dollars guys one million Jamaican of course There you go. I should have cut down that PCOS picture. I'm just realizing that. Uh oh. One of my things fell. <laughs> Um, I think I want to put this in the middle. Hopefully, it will hold there. Um, I don't want to put it. Yeah, let me put it underneath here like that. And then I got these nice little stickers at Fontana. I think they were like three hundred dollars, and I'm just gonna put them on some of them to hold it down better. And just give it an overall fancy look you don't have to do this this is just maybe <laughs> but I think this was a good idea because it's actually holding down the edges of um, the pictures so not a bad idea Jesse Ah, look at me cracking it up. It's kind of fragile. Okay, I need to move a little bit faster. Oh, that one missed. That one missed. Um, put that one right here. I'm putting them all down the bottom and forgetting that I have pictures at the top to put on soon. Uh oh alrighty so guys this is my vision board for 2021 if this is something that you guys want to do as I said before I got the board at Fontana but if you don't want to use a board like this you can always just get a piece of cartridge paper get some pictures and you don't have to print the pictures either you can get them from like old magazines or even the newspaper and print them and put them on there like so and that will be your vision board so guys let me show you the finished product this is my vision board for 2021 i absolutely love it I hope you guys can see it properly. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer so that you can see. That's my vision board for 2021. So yeah, guys. As I said before, it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. 
it's just you putting out all your visions and all your dreams that you want to accomplish for the year out there so you guys i absolutely think this is a long video <laughs> but anyways um it was needed and i hope it has been helpful to some persons who are making their vision boards right now um but yeah these are my visions guys thank you again for tuning into another video um i hope to see you guys in my other videos as usual give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you are new here please go ahead and hit that subscribe button thanks so much my loves Ah!